aka QB Crossing, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Dream Island tour, and I am super excited because this is a overgrown spring core theme, which is pretty similar to what I'm doing myself, so I can't wait to get some inspiration and share it all with you guys. So as always, if you enjoy the video, please be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and let's just get right into it. So of course, if this is a dream tour, I started off at Resident Services, and the first thing that I like to do is just open up my map and see what's going on. You'll notice a dream address down there, so you can either grab it now or check it out in the description. I will also have the creator socials in the description, so be sure to give them some love because they have some really beautiful posts on Instagram, and that is how I originally found this creator. So let's just see what's going on here. I could tell that the waterscaping is absolutely stunning. The terror forming looks so natural and I just cannot wait to dive in. We have two resident reps. I know that one of the houses, I think this house over here is actually a school. So I'm excited to go inside there and see what's going on. We have a lot of really, really cute villagers. They definitely fit the spring chorus theme and I can't wait to see how their houses look spread out around here. So the first thing that I like to do is kind of check out what's going on around resident services. I like that there's a clear direction from each section, but I am going to try to find the airport first because that is my preferred way of touring. Okay, here we are at the entrance and there are a ton of presents for us. I am really excited. I also love the greens and the browns of these presents. Super cute and really fit in with this island color palette. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna end up picking up this Yes, that Cosmo. I accidentally picked it up. Should I try to place it back exactly where it was? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm ruining the island design. Get down there. <laughs> it just wants to go on the bench. Okay, that's my own... Sorry, Taylor. I made my own little <laughs> design touch to your island. I, I apologize. <laughs> so here we are at the entrance. Let's see. Actually, they have a green airport that definitely fits in really well with this really kind of natural aesthetic and the spring core colors. I love the green pathing. Look at that little squirrel. I love him. I love him. Oh my goodness. I love... How cute is he? Okay. Sorry, I just had to zoom in on that. We have a little chest area over here and look at all that natural terraforming, the cliffs surrounding each side. And we have a little painting area right when you come in, just kind of sit over here and really just relax in the natural atmosphere. I also just realized I got so distracted by that squirrel that I forgot to look at what presents we got. So let's open this up. Ooh, we have a straw hat. Should I change my outfit? Okay, I'm gonna take Taylor's advice of what we should wear here. So I may end up changing my outfit from what I originally came in here with. I love when they leave a wand at the airport just in case you have other outfits that you wanna change into. That's always a really nice touch. So we have a ton of mom's hand knit sweaters. We have some cute rubber toe sneakers, the wide chino pants, and what else do we have here? A balloon okay I actually might stick with my outfit um, but I am going to wear not wear <laughs> I'm going to hold this balloon because I absolutely love touring with a balloon so we're gonna get going and I'm going to actually head over to the left to start because I think that the airport and resident services is a little bit closer to the left side so it just makes sense for me to start this way look at all of that detail up on the cliffs I love that duck up there it is just so well done nothing is really left undesigned which i absolutely love i love to have a code everywhere designs everywhere i think that's what makes your island feel really full we have some beautiful pathing going on here this green code mixed with these light wood planks really helps kind of guide you around oh what is that like hopscotch i haven't seen this code that's like a very natural looking hopscotch i i really like that a lot okay so this is definitely a little play area what a natural design for a playground i have never seen such an aesthetic playground and all of these oranges and yellows and greens they just look so good i am already really into this island as i knew i would be okay i think we're leading into a meadow and i am a big fan of meadows so look at this, like this flower field is just stunning. 
okay and this is a great idea if you do a flower field to put one of these like beach towels down because you can get a really cool view of you laying down in the flowers and it kind of just looks like you're on the floor the way that she customized it with that green pattern it really does just look like it's it's part of the grass which i really really like these windmills in the back here are a great idea for any sort of flower field i think it really helps pull the area together and these touches of yellow like the mush uh, platform and the lighthouse just look amazing okay so i'm gonna head back down off of this cliff and see what we have going on to i i'm wondering if i should go if i can go okay no i was gonna see if i could go to the left that way because i noticed that house in front but i don't think i can so we're gonna head to the left over here over by where nook's cranny is and again i'm loving the way that they framed the resident services with all of these hedges and it's just really clear how to get around with these signposts and the different codes on the floor mixing these codes is so like just really really well done with the stones and then the grass pathing the different log planks look at is that olive over there is so cute how did you get back there um a really natural nooks cranny i love actually how this diy bench looks over here we have some really kind of natural elements like the trash bags they actually look really aesthetic here um, a little newspaper stand this looks really great i love this kind of newspaper customization that's going on here it just feels really kind of i don't i don't know if i can think of the word for it but just like a worker's station kind of like perfectly messy <laughs> And then over here, I love this little hop that we have. We have some really natural waterscaping going on over here by Dobie's house. We have the little froggy snack. He's so cute. And <laughs> Dobie's house has the perfect decor. I like that she really added in the stone over here, the garden rocks. And I don't know, somehow this is all just working together really, really well. And these are a lot of items that, to be honest, I don't think about using um but they work really well and it, it just can it just looks really intentional for each of the villagers and areas so i like that a lot we have probably a little farming area over here i love that i think that's a little grasshopper or the cricket i always get confused but whichever one is in that cute little bug cage it, it's just um, a really nice touch if you place that bug and you get that little wooden crate and over here we have ooh. This is a dark house that I wouldn't really see on a Spring Court Island, but I really like how how Taylor's not afraid to play with these different colors. This dark phone and the umbrella, the purple flowers. I am really, really digging this. That looks just amazing. And I, it really just adds a little bit more depth to the island. It gives you some more color variation. And I like that a lot oh wow okay adorable adorable little setup over here on the beach i'm gonna open up my camera app to show you all how absolutely cute and beautiful this looks with these purple flowers the berliners the hat that hat is topped here place that hat down and it will just look beautiful Ooh. okay so these i like this it's kind of like a dig site this is really cool i'm getting a very like I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm at a loss for words today, clearly. I'm getting a very like blather study type of feel with the fish and the fossils. It is just a really cool workstation and I love just how natural everything really feels on this island. And look at this different pathing path that Taylor is using. I haven't seen anyone use this wood uh, path in a really long time this in-game one but it looks so good next to all those fossils spread out over there and then we have the museum really tucked away i love how it looks with the the different customizations of that bamboo furniture the dark browns look really good all of these brown tones are just gorgeous i'm going to open up the camera app so we can kind of see the terraforming going on around here by the museum 
Look at how cute my little rep looks with her balloon. This is just such a great way to hide your museum. I know a lot of us really struggle with the museum and how to decorate it. So look at this gorgeous pathway leading up. I mean, this terraforming and this waterscaping is just stunning. I love to make a path like this that is just really surrounded by water. It, oh my gosh, it just looks so good and it really flows so nicely. I'm gonna open up the camera app again to make sure I didn't miss anything over on those cliffs, but I think we might get some better views once we go up that incline. So I'm gonna head up this incline over here. Actually, should I go across this way? Okay, change of plans. I realized I didn't go across this bridge yet and then we will go up the incline. Um, wow, okay, so I think that I think that this might be like an orchard and I have to say I have never seen this sort of setup for an orchard. It really feels more like kind of a park and I love that with the pathing and the fencing on each side. How beautiful is that? Oh, okay, so if I went to the left of Nook's Cranny, I would have got over here. I see. Okay, always me taking the wrong way to get to areas. This looks so beautiful. I love, oh my gosh, I just love all the little details. Those cherry blossom umbrellas and wands. That looks gorgeous. This is a really cool take on an orchard. And I have to say, I have not seen anything quite like that. Over this way, we have Marshall's house, and oh, how classy is this? The black piano for Marshall, and a little really cute coffee area for his hipster self. I like that they used this log bench as the table with the zen cushions and the cushions for seats. That's so cozy. Definitely that boho brunch vibe, which I love. And then over here, look at how cute. I love this pattern down here. I'm gonna just take a little seat because this is so cute. Um, how beautiful is that? I Now I'm inspired to make a picnic area on my beach because that just looks so cute. That's such a great way to fill up your beach areas. They are still really natural and they're not overdone, but they look so good. Look at this little camp area, the f little, fire looks adorable definitely 10 out of 10 would want to camp here <laughs> please i will be your next campsite villager taylor and look at this wow okay so we have a really cute little camp not camp farming area i love the way that all these different colors come together and is this a little soccer area what a cool overgrown soccer vibe this is like just playing within the flowers. This would be my ideal soccer situation because I'm not very sporty, so I could just run around in the flowers and maybe kick the ball when I feel like it. This is so cute. I, I really, really adore this. Let's say hi. I think that this is, oh yeah, okay, so this is Noyo's professor. That's so thoughtful and cute. We're gonna go in here because this, um, like Taylor said, is the school of Noyo, so I'm interested to see how this looks inside and how it is decorated. I truly struggle with interiors, so okay, already blown away. This is one classy school. I'm getting some like dark academia vibes, which I really like. This is definitely, okay, I have to say, this is, must be a private school or something because this is classy. I really like this. My school definitely did not look like this. Uh, I don't even think my college looked like that. So this is definitely a classy school. Ooh, oh my goodness. How cool is this? Okay, so using those rock climbing walls to break up the space. We have a little hammock over here. I love this idea of breaking up the space. So it almost feels like a patio on the other side that's leading outdoors. It just looks so pretty. I guess this is a bit of a gardening area, maybe like a workshopping class. That is really precious. I am a big fan of anything plant related. So really, really adore that. Let's go back here. I like how they're using that simple panel as kind of like a sliding door. 
looks really cool and I, I think that's one of the customizations that comes with a simple panel so don't even have to waste a design code on that. How adorable this is to, I'm kind of getting Harry Potter vibes, I don't know about anyone else but that's always a good thing. So this is so pretty, I really like this, imagine going to school here, even that little coffee cup over on the antique uh, podium, I forgot what that's called, I don't think it's actually called a podium, but um, it looks so good and I I just love the chalkboard, the, the art, everything is really well done really getting this like dark academia vibe which is perfect perfect for a school so really really like this let's see let's head over to the right side and see what's going on over here Ooh. okay so this is like i wonder if this is like a cafeteria or more of the kitchen area but I really like how this looks. Again, a lot of these layouts, I haven't seen anyone really do interiors like this, and I'm I'm really loving it. This is really kind of homey, so I feel like this is a, a small school, and you kind of come here, grab some fruit in the morning, maybe sit down and eat your lunch. This is just really, really, really well done. I love a good kitchen, and I'm, I'm just really impressed with these interiors because they're honestly like nothing I have really seen before and a really cool use of items. Let's head up here and see what could the top upstairs room be. Ooh, okay, so this is a big classroom. This is really cool. Again, never seen anyone lay out the room like this before. This is awesome. I love how realistic this is. Okay, what, Taylor? Your talent is kind of too much at the moment because this is oh my god like the class pet your mind i would never even think of half of this stuff this is so good i am really really loving this and oh my gosh even that little um kind of rug over there with the shoes that is so well done and i oops where am i going does that happen to anyone else when you're kind of zooming around a room and then you try to get out and you realize you're just stuck in the staircase or just me? <laughs> okay, so what could the basement be? <gasps> a gym! Okay, that makes so much sense. And the rock climbing walls actually work really well for the gym. We have some lockers over there. Okay, what? This is seriously so realistic that I am... Um, I was not expecting this. That's kind of the moral of the story. I was really not expecting this from this island and I'm really like enjoying it. This is just so good. I love the addition of the lockers and the weights. That definitely makes a lot of sense to have in a school and it's a really good use of space for that basement. Let's head back out to the main area on the island and continue around I know I wanted to go to the left side of this beach because I believe there is like a little wedding reception area. So we're going to head over here and I had noticed these cut out sandies to the left of Marshall's house and it is says we have the welcome to the wedding sign. I love how this looks and this is actually the peninsula over here. This is a great kind of transition to the peninsula, super natural really colorful and beautiful i i just really adore all of this and here is the little wedding setup i am a big fan of all the wedding furniture so this looks amazing that green pathing on the beach and all of the flowers surrounding just looks stunning i am really just in love with every aspect of this island let's see if we could get back over here oh no I think we gotta turn around and maybe go to the right of Marshall's house and we're gonna go back over that bridge that I had missed before. So here we are over here and we're gonna go up this way and see what's going on up on this level. Some really beautiful cliff decor over here. Ooh, is this like a little bit of a sunken waterfall going on? So here we are behind Dobie's house. We have some really cute little seating areas. And then over here, I'm gonna open up the camera app so we can really see this beauty. 
Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's a really small sunken waterfall, but this is kind of like my ideal size for a sunken waterfall. I think it's perfect and it's really fun to like stumble upon that depth in, in an island. So really, really adore that. We're gonna head over this way and see what's going on over here. Um, I really like, again, just like all of the little details, the log stool with the uh, mom's candles on it, just so pretty. And oh my gosh, is this a little train station? Oh my gosh, look at how cute. First of all, all these little details are just queen of details over here for sure. Look at this. Oh my God. Let me wait at the train station. Oh my gosh. Look at that view. I mean, what? I keep wanting to take pictures everywhere because it's so cute. And I like that Taylor stunted all of those trees down there. Since you're using the camper van, which is super small, the trees look proportionate in size, which is so smart. We have a very big brained tailor on our hands. That is some big brain energy. We have a backwards incline, which are just my favorite. And I think this is Eric's house over here. Look at how cozy this is. This is so cute. I would love to kind of be nestled in the woods like this, right on the edge of the water. This is kind of my dream cabin. So I will be applying to kick Eric out and live there myself. I hope Taylor will, you know, take me in. <laughs> what a cute little addition over here. I'm getting a lot of ideas for small spaces, like this wooden table and the log stool looks so great. And I don't know, I just feel like there's so many little details that I can really take inspiration from here. So I hope you guys kind of feel the same because this is just stunning. I love this little well over here. We have a bit of a spa area in the woods. This is actually my favorite customization of the cypress bath. That water just looks really like milky and blue and I just really like it. So I already just kind of love that area. But here we have another view of this little train station and look at all of that down there. I'm going to take the ladder so that we can kind of go down here and explore a bit more before I go up that incline. So this is a better view of the train station. I kind of want a train station on my island now because this looks so cute. Hello adorable little Ozzy. And Oh, how adorable is this? We have a little bath area over here. Using that wedding arch behind it to really frame everything. Imagine, imagine just relaxing over here on the edge of that rock. I wish. That truly seems like a relaxing dream and I could definitely use that in my life right now. Okay, so up here we have a little bit more of a kind of picnic-y area, a painting area, and I love these wooden swings with the cutout designs. I believe this is, is this is by ACNH or Miss ACNH, and that swing idea is such a great addition to those cutout designs. I, I just think it's so beautiful and it works really well on these spring core type of islands. I love this little terraforming and hopping situation over here. And I just want to know all the different colors that Taylor is using, um, but still somehow making it fit within the theme. This like kind of pink, really pastel light pink aesthetic over here with this picnic area. Somehow making these gold roses look really good as well. That's something I've never quite been able to make work, but I really love how they look there. So who knows, maybe I will start using more color on my island, but no promises <laughs> um over here we're gonna do another little hop and we have a really adorable house over here as well whose house is this i have to look at the map because i'm actually not quite sure this is sylvanas house okay yeah definitely a nice spring core house um again look at this combination of items the rattan uh table it just is so good and that saxophone, oh my gosh, so many things I would not think of doing. 
Ooh, look at this diagonal bridge situation we have going on. That is a really cool villager area. This might be one of my favorite villager areas I've ever seen. Look at this, this blue house looks so good. I'm kind of inspired to use a little bit more color on my island. Look at the dog. Oh my God, these codes are so good. I, I am feeling so inspired right now because I have not really worked on my island in a couple of days. So maybe Taylor, you have given me the inspiration that I truly needed. Holy cow, look at that terraforming in the background. That is insane. This is so well done. I am just a perfect mix of terraforming and decorating. That is truly what this island is. We have a little bit of a fishing spot over here, which is just adorable. And as we go this way, some more sunken waterfalls. The amount of terraforming work that Taylor has done here is truly, truly insane. Oh wow, you can jump over here. I feel like I am totally off the beaten path, but this is usually my tour, um, my tour style. So we will see everything, hopefully, as long as I don't miss anything. Uh, the Cosmo Shower is one of my favorite items lately, so I'm definitely getting a bit of a gardening and painting vibe over here. We have a adorable camper van design. This looks like maybe a flower shop or maybe not a flower shop, maybe just a camper area where you, uh, oh yeah, exactly, a camper <laughs> where you can kind of camp out over here. Love the kids tent and the actual campsite right behind. Works so well. And oh, I just love that idea of mixing in the, that camper with your actual campsite. And, ooh, okay, so I think that this is the cornfield back here. How creative and smart is this? Mixing in the wheat decor and then back here. Oh my God, how cozy is this? Okay, this might be one of my favorite areas on the island. How adorable. The pie. <laughs> the tea oh it's just so cute it's another kind of orchard area and oh i found the secret beach adorable i mean who wouldn't want to paint back here and just really relax watch the sunset i'll i'll be there until further notice okay so let's head back this way and I know that I, I've missed something that I see some stuff on the beach that I also want to check out, but I'm really just loving. I mean, look at this view over here of that camper van. It looks so good. And I like, oh, I like how I can see the candles from back here. This is really the perfect campsite. So um, everything is just so well done. I almost missed this. We have a little bit of like a sewing area, which is really, really cute. Which reminds me, where is Abel Sisters? Did I miss that? I must not have gotten there yet. Um, but really adorable. I, I just love all these little micro areas. It is really inspiring to see how Taylor kind of thinks and creates and fills in all of these spaces. Okay, so we have a gorgeous flower field back here. Look at those silos in the background. I love seeing the garden wagons and all the windmills. It is so pretty. I cannot say it enough. This island is just really pretty. <laughs> I mean, how else should I explain it? Oh my God, the book club. I am joining this book club. I really like when people are able to make these kind of natural builds. So by natural, I mean really just putting it on grass and like little codes surrounding, not using too much like in-game pathing and ha giving it that overgrown feel with the flowers all around. That might be one of my favorite little areas. It's hard to pick. There's so many good areas on this island, but I really enjoy that book club. And again, all of these details ju just everywhere. There's not one area that Taylor did not think of or design. So I really just appreciate all of the work that went into this. I'm gonna go this way because I think I must have missed. Okay, oh, I found Able Sisters. Okay, so we kind of missed a whole little area over here. Um, and I think I still missed some stuff on the beach. So we will we'll make our way around again. Um, this is Taylor's iconic lake build. This looks so pretty. I mean, 
look at this over here. Oh, just a little place to have tea and really look out at the bridge. This waterscaping is just stunning. And a little spot to have a picnic as well. I mean, this is kind of the dream, right? This is the dream island and I feel that I am not worthy to be here. <laughs> um, look at this. I love seeing Abel's over with the lake in the background as well. Again, these builds just look really realistic. And I think that's something that's sometimes hard to do when you have a natural aesthetic because it, you don't really see full towns out in the woods like this um, and actual overgrown um, you know buildings and houses so the fact that this looks really kind of real is is super cool and and it's it just shows how talented Taylor is we have oh another villager house over here again I would say my top design thing that I love right now is using cushions as seats so I really like that for the tea area we have another um, cushion seat over here, maybe a little bug area, um, adorable house. Whose house is this again? Because I love this house. This is Olive's house, such a cute one. And again, just the terraforming everywhere. It's, it's too good, truly. Taylor, what? The way you made the ironing set look good over here? I am, I am shooketh, truly shooketh. <laughs> oh, I found the other um, rep house. Uh, were we up here already? Did I somehow miss this? Oh, okay, so that's where the, that's where the um, train station was. So this must be the main rep house, which I'm assuming is Taylor's house. And I'm interested to see how the interior of this looks. Oh my gosh, it is the perfect little kind of grandma core, cottage core cabin. I I changed my mind. Maybe I want to live inside this house and not the campsite because this is so cute. I love this aesthetic. I think the whole grandma core aesthetic is just one of the most precious things that has ever happened to the Animal Crossing community. Um, look at this. I okay so this is definitely like a cabin retreat vibe imagine just kind of hanging out in here with a cup of coffee or a glass of wine if you're if you're of age uh, that would be very very fun and relaxing we're gonna head over to the right now and see what room this is over here maybe a kitchen i like to guess before i get in there Ooh. okay so we have the Oh, this is, okay, really cute. I could see like staying over at my grandma's house and this would be like my little room that I stay in. And look at that. Again, um, using those rock climbing walls to separate to a kind of back patio. I really like that. That is so beautiful, those Northern lights out there. Oh my gosh, that is so cozy. <laughs> I, I have to say again, these interiors are definitely something that, um, I, I don't know, I guess I really haven't seen these kind of layouts before for rooms. And okay, adorable, we have a bigger kitchen up here and like a living room area. This is really, really good. I love the whole color scheme of this house. It's just totally precious. It definitely gives me a bit of the, the grandma vibes. I would definitely love to have a sleepover here and just watch, I don't know, movies all night or something. <laughs> have a, a cup of coffee. Um, this is just so beautiful. I love, love, love this bed over here and the customization on top of it. I really like how Taylor is using, again, this those animated wallpapers and breaking up the room with the rock climbing wall it is just so good I, I mean if you haven't tried this yet i would definitely recommend using some of the rock climbing walls to separate and and some different rugs or flooring different custom codes to break up the space and it really gives it that that depth and dimension um, that you don't usually get in interiors 
Okay, so I think that we've seen the full house and we're gonna head back out and I, I know I missed a couple areas on the beach so I just want to do a loop around see what else we missed um, before we head back to resident services um, again look at this terraforming I don't think I noticed this spot before but this little place to write over by the water really really cute and I'm gonna head this way now because we had come this way before uh, and I definitely missed a bit uh, to the right because I got excited and moved over and started running over this way. Um, I can't help it. I get so excited by good design and I just cannot contain myself and, and start running in every direction. <laughs> so if you're looking for a more organized tour guide, I am probably not it. Uh, we, oh my gosh. This is Cookie's house again. The pink's over here. Really, really cute. I love that so much. So adorable. Um, and then we have, again, these micro little areas, the hammock. We have our bikes over here. Look at this. Okay, I love the mixing of path codes over here. A little, it, it just feels really whimsical. Even that laptop really works. And oh my gosh, so cute, that cutout standee with the festival garland. It looks really good over there on the pier. Let's continue this way and make sure I did not miss anything over on the beach. A really cute little lookout area. And I love decorating your beaches, keeping them bare in some areas like Taylor has done. I think it looks really good. I don't know if there's anything down here. Oh, of course there is. We have a bit of a writing area, music area. I also really like that Taylor's using these black customizations of furniture. Um, I wouldn't really think to use that, but I really think that they add a bit of contrast and work really well. And then we have an adorable little laundry area over here. Using that kimono stand is a really smart idea because you can bring a, a pattern into that and give it a little bit more color and more of the aesthetic that your island is going for, which I really like. Let's continue to loop around this way. And I think I just want to make sure that I didn't miss one of the villager houses. So all of her villagers are also out today being real, real cute. <laughs> so we, we must have came here at a good time. Um, okay, so I think if I jump this way, can I get over here? Oh no. I feel like this should be, it looks like it would be accessible, but maybe I just am not doing something wrong. Let's, let's put the, let's put the balloon away because I think I'm confusing myself. Is this not jumpable? Okay, forget it. I'll go around the other way. I'll go the way I'm supposed to to go stop trying to take shortcuts and okay how pretty Ooh, look at that code down on the dirt path that looks really beautiful what a cute little villager setup and all oh, the champagne and the essay set really really cute i just love this um oh and then we have another camping area i don't think i saw this one yet but again i would love to kind of just hang out over here on the beach and also lay down here and have my glass of champagne that taylor left out how precious and i'm just loving the really green aesthetic uh, of all of these customizations and codes and then over here i notice this another camper van look at this little ice cream shop all of the bright pastel pinks Taylor is really not afraid to play with all of these colors and create something that is uniquely hers, which I really just admire. And I think with that, we are back over here at the entrance. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tour. I had so much fun. This island was just absolutely beautiful. It gave me so much inspiration. And I just uh, would love to hear from you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Give the creator some love. I will link them in my description. And I will see you guys next time.